welcome. Today we're going to be looking at a download utility called ARIA, or ARIA2 in this particular case. Uh, so um, as you probably know, uh, you can use wget or curl, are two common programs that are probably on your system already uh, for downloading files from the internet. In the past, I also talked about Axel. Uh, which is also a great utility. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at another program called ARIA. And why would you want to use ARIA over WGET or CURL? Uh, WGET and CURL are, are so common on systems, in most cases you're probably going to want to use them if you're writing a script or something. But ARIA has uh, abilities such as Axel. As I mentioned in the past, Axel, what it allows you to do is make multiple connections to a server or multiple servers to speed up your download. So let's say you wanted to download a Linux ISO from a website and they have multiple um, mirrors, you can actually connect to multiples because usually there's a, a limit on download speeds from the server. So let's say your download rate at home, you're getting like 80 uh, megabits per second. Well, the server might only give you like five to download because they don't want to overload their servers. Well, you can hit multiple servers and download the same file from it and get faster speeds. Well, Area, uh, Area lets you do that too. Uh, Area has one advantage over Axel in that it also allows you to download torrents and magnet links for torrents. So let's go ahead and just start looking at area. If you are on a Debian based system, you can use apt, aptitude, apt-get, whatever your package manager is, and you can search for ARIA. We'll say ARIA2 in this case. Uh, and as you can see, ARIA2 is listed here, and with the I here through aptitude, it shows that it's already installed on my system, but use your package manager to install it on your system. Once it's installed, at least on uh, Debian um, SID here, uh, the, the command is actually a ARIA2C once it's installed. And at this point, you can just give it a URL to a file to download. So in this case, here's a link to an image of Tux that I have on my server. Boom, and it downloaded that file. You can see right there, I can say file and Tux, and you can see that that's a PNG image right there, 256 by 256. It's just a little image from my website. Uh, now, to download the uh, same file, here I have the same thing. Let's clear the screen here on the same command, but I've made a tiny URL for it. So I hit enter here, it downloads it, um, and it gave it the name that it had right there, the, uh, the original name. Or actually, that's not the same file. It's a different file. Anyway, uh, but let's say you wanted to give it a specific name. So it, it even though I gave it a tiny URL, uh, it still redirected and grabbed the original name. But sometimes servers don't give you the proper extension and might download uh, in some sort of name that doesn't have the right extension or the file name, or you just want to name it something in particular. Uh, the way you do this is, here's the same command, aria2c, that URL, but I can do dash lowercase o, and I'll call this tux2.png. And now I have downloaded it, and you can see right here it shows up as tux2.png. If I list out these files with the size, you can see that this file here is uh, 260k, and this one here is the same, because they are the same file. Let's go ahead and clear the screen there. Uh, now. As I mentioned, it allows you to do something uh, such as Axel. So Axel, again, I can do Axel dash N and give it a number such as five, and I can give it a single server connection. So here's an ISO to Linux Mint, and Axel will start making five connections to that single server and download it. Well, you can do the same thing with ARIA. So here we'll go ARIA2, but instead of dash N, we're going to do dash X, and we'll say, in this case, five. And I can do that, and it'll actually make five connections to that server to speed up. Um, I actually prefer the output of Axel for this, because it gives you a little more uh, I just like the output, the way it's showing you the speeds and stuff like that as far as what it's downloading. Now, uh, connecting to a single server like that multiple times uh, might give you uh, extra speed, but it's putting a lot more stress on that single server, uh, and it also might get you booted if you make too many connections. So another option you can do is something like this. Let me just um, highlight and copy and paste this. I can go like this. So there's the original. Uh, image there at one mirror, but I can also se separate by spaces here, give it another mirror and a third mirror. And now it should start using all three of those mirrors to download that single file, uh, which should give you better speeds than it would if you were just connecting to a single server because you're splitting up the uh, the download from multiple servers, not bogging down those servers, and it's a preferred way to do if you're going to do this. 
a control C to kill that. Now, another option is, let me list out files here, and you can see I have a torrent file that I've downloaded for Peppermint uh, Linux. Uh, so I can just say aria2c and give it that local torrent file, and it will start downloading it just like you would any torrent file. But another option would be to do something like this. So I'll kill that. Here is ARIA, and I'm going to point it, let's clear the screen, to a URL that is a torrent on the Ubuntu website. I can do that. It's going to grab that torrent file and then actually start downloading the torrent. I'm getting errors here. That's Let's see if it gets going. This is from my notes that I've made a while ago, so uh, that torrent file may not be up to date, but that's how you would do it. I'll go ahead and control C to kill that. Maybe. There we go. Let's clear the screen again. Now you can also give it magnet links. So again, ARIA2C and I can give it a magnet link. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a magnet link here. Uh, actually, I have one in my history here. Let me go ahead and just magnet. So this is just another uh, uh, Linux distro, a magnet link to it for the Raspberry Pi. It was just one that I just searched for and found. And there you go, Nextcloud Pi. And now it is downloading that file and using that magnet link to download that distro. So you can give it direct links to magnet links, which is very useful uh, for doing something like this. You can pull a magnet link from a website and just start downloading this. And of course, torrents are a preferred method for a lot of Linux distros to download files because it doesn't bog down their servers because you're using the community to download. One more thing I want to show you in ARIA here is I actually have a file called download.list. You can call this whatever you want, doesn't matter the extension and everything. Uh, but if I was to cat it out, you can see it's just a list of files. Uh, some of them are direct uh, ISOs. There's a torrent file in here, another ISO, another ISO. And this one is a link to a torrent file, another link to a torrent file. Yep. So we got a mixture in there. And what you can do is you can give aria-i option and give it that file name. So I'll say download.list. Again, it's just a plain text file. And it's gonna go through and download each one of those files. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter that they're mixed in there. Like I said, there's torrent files in there. There's ISOs. I don't have a magnet link in there, but should be able to uh, add that in there. But that would be one way if you had a bunch of files and a list to download, give it to aria and it will just one by one download them. And again, you could uh, also you know, tell it to use multiple connections if you want to speed that up. Again, not the case with the torrent file because that's you're using multiple connections. Anyway, that is it. I just wanted to give you a look at this very useful tool. I've used it in a number of my scripts um, for automating downloads of certain things from websites. So that's ARIA. Should be in your repositories, ARIA2, ARIA2C. Uh, just search for ARIA and see what comes up in your repositories. I do thank you for watching. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Also, check me out on patreon.com forward slash x 1000 If you want to support, there's also a link on my website under support for PayPal. You can support me either of those ways. I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.